President Trump's hair loss medicine explained. U.S. President Donald Trump's doctor recently told the New York Times that the 70-year-old leader of the free world was taking the drug Propecia. But what exactly is it? Also known as finasteride, Propecia is a commonly used drug that treats hair loss in men, particularly male pattern baldness. This is a sex-linked characteristic inherited from the mother, whereby a bald patch gradually forms on top of the patient's head. Propecia treats this by inhibiting the production of DHT, a form of testosterone linked to baldness. The side effects of the drug reportedly mainly hamper the male libido and can result in decreased sex drive as well as erectile and ejaculation issues. If a patient stops taking the drug, hair loss returns. According to U.S. government information, male pattern baldness does not indicate a medical disorder, but may affect self-esteem or cause anxiety. Keep watching for more videos on medical enhancements. Woman gets six ribs removed to look like a cartoon character. Meet Pixie Fox, a real-life human Barbie doll. She's undergone a total of 15 cosmetic surgeries, including four boob jobs, four nose jobs, liposuction, a Brazilian butt lift, and the removal of six ribs. Throw in routine Botox injections, eyelid surgery, and a labiaplasty to remove the excess tissue for a designer vagina, and you've got one plastic-looking bimbo. She's originally from Sweden and worked as an electrician before becoming what she refers to as a body modification artist. She also works as a model. But she embraces the fake look and used her own hard-earned savings to pay for her first 11 surgeries before soliciting others to help pay for her operations. All in all, she's reportedly spent around $120,000 on making herself look like an exaggerated cartoonish spectacle. The most shocking surgery she's had is to remove six of her ribs, a five-hour procedure that's usually only done for medical reasons, but maybe she thought they made her look fat. She ignored the doctor's orders and put her corset back on two days later. Her idols are buxom cartoon characters like Jessica Rabbit from Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Holly Wood from Cool World. Fox is quoted as saying, People often come up to me and say, Don't take this the wrong way, but you look like a cartoon. But for me, that's a compliment. That's what I want to achieve. Well, congratulations, Pixie. We've made you into an actual cartoon. Fox says she plans to have even more operations next year like booty and hip implants, as well as eyelash implants and fat removal from her face. She's a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Boobs, glorious boobs. Natural, plastic, and all kinds. If your chesty caverns have the depth, you can be sure marijuana man will want to motorboat those puppies. Talking about melons, meet 42-year-old Nanette Hammond. This mom of five has a 28H bra size. Over the years, she spent close to half a million dollars on her looks. That's almost enough to get a degree from some of the best U.S. schools, uh, twice. At age 21, she went from a B cup to a C cup. That cost around $3,000. And at age 24, she went the full double D, paying around $10,000. But even that wasn't enough. Years later, after marrying hubby Davey, she went back for more silicone. And this time, she went from a double D to a 28H. Now, we at Tomo News don't understand the various nuances of bra and cup geometry, but geographically speaking, anything past double D is uh, Himalayan. In addition to that, Hammond also spends thousands of dollars on spray tans, hair and eyelash extensions, manicures, pedicures, and the list goes on. But why is this former nurse in the news? Well, last year she started uploading pics of herself to Instagram. She's currently got 30,000 followers. And in addition to her Barbie-ishness, we can think of only two reasons why. But here's the weird part. See those racy pictures you've been looking at this entire video? She says they were taken by her husband and their five children, aged from five to 16. Ew! Disfigured ex-firefighter gets new face. A 41-year-old father of five underwent an extensive full-face transplant in August, which saw an 150-person medical team at NYU's Langone Medical Center perform a procedure that had an only 50% chance of success. In September 2001, volunteer firefighter Patrick Hardison suffered disfiguring burns while responding to a house fire in Mississippi. 14 years later, a team of plastic surgeons gave him the face of 26-year-old David Rodebau, who was pronounced dead following a cycling accident. The procedure involved slitting the skin at the back of Rotobaugh's head, peeling off each side towards the ears, while including key pieces of bone around the nose, chin, and cheekbones. 
After the scarred tissue on Hardison's face was cut away, the donor face was laid over his head and secured into position using screws and metal plates, a grueling 26-hour operation. Hardison's new face swelled by 50% immediately after the operation, but gradually calmed down with the help of immunosuppressants he will need to take for the rest of his life. The entire operation cost between $850,000 and $1 million, the same cost as a liver transplant, and was paid for by a university grant. Real-life Ken doll's body is rejecting his nose implant. A real-life Ken doll was rushed to the hospital after his latest surgical enhancement went wrong. 32-year-old Rodrigo Alves is being treated for the life-threatening illness necrosis after a hole appeared in his nose. Speaking from his hospital bed in Spain, Alves said his body had rejected cartilage put in his schnoz during surgery in February. He said doctors have warned him the infection is eating his nose and could even devour his face. Air steward Alves has spent more than $400,000 perfecting his look over the years. The party animal from the UK who grew up in Brazil said he never felt comfortable in his own skin. So, in 2004, he decided to have a nose job as his appearance was getting him down. <laughs> that surgery was the first of 15 operations over the coming years as Alves sought physical perfection. He even went as far as having an eight-pack implant made of his own fat and reshaped the calf muscles in his legs. The social light raises money for his surgery by working as a flight attendant, event host, and image consultant. Claims he couldn't get the body he wanted at the gym because of an endocrine disorder. Three years ago, Alves cheated death after surgery on his biceps went wrong and chemicals leaked into his blood. But that didn't stop him from going under the knife again, and again, and again. Alves is now receiving intravenous drips of antibiotics at a hospital in the southern city of Malaga. He hopes to return to London soon to receive medical care, which may include yet another full reconstruction of his nose. Doctors grow patient's ear on his arm. A Chinese hospital is in the midst of a most peculiar feat, creating a human ear almost entirely from the human body alone. According to Chinese state media, plastic surgeons in Shanxi province have grown an ear on a patient's arm after he lost it in a car accident one year ago. Several months ago, a dilator was inserted into the man's right forearm. The arm received daily water injections to create a thin and stretched layer of skin. Next, the hospital removed parts of the patient's rib cage cartilage and then modeled those into the structure of an ear. This cartilage model was then inserted into the expanded skin, which was formed around it in the shape of a human ear. The next part of the process, transplanting the new ear to the patient's head, will take around three or four months. The patient, identified only as G, had reportedly suffered psychological trauma following the accident. But he says the new ear looks exactly like his old one. 